What's up you guys? This is Raise the Beast. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a custom theme, the CXMB um, software so that you can enable uh, custom themes to your PSP. So what you want to do is go to your web browser. And then you want to go to uh, my website, which is www.ray Ray is the beast webs.com. I'll post the link in the bottom. So what you want to do is go to navigation and then you want to go to links. Now you want to go you want to scroll down and then you want to find the category that says themes. And then you want to hit this uh, link that says CXMB. You want to go to that link. And then a new window should open up. And then you want to click here to download. And then this little window should open up. And you want to save it onto your desktop or somewhere uh, where you can find it very easily. I recommend the desktop because it's just right there. So uh, as you can see, it already downloaded. I'm going to close that. And then you want to close your web browser. You don't need it anymore. Close out this window. All right. So um, once you get the file, it's right up here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, what you want to do is extract the files, and then you should get another folder that says CXMB. And I'm just gonna. Uh, delete the other file because I don't need that one anymore now the next thing you want to do is um, is you want to um, connect your PSP to your computer alright so it's in USB mode and try to find your PSP drive mine is on the desktop sorry about that tripod Alright, so you find your PSP uh, drive, want to go into that, and then you uh, you should see the root of your uh, memory card, and it should say PSP picture, music, and etc., and some other stuff if you already hacked your PSP. Now, what you want to do is um, you want to open up your CXMB file that you just downloaded, and then you'll see four files in here, one folder that says support. Uh, one PRX, um, two text, and what you want to do is uh, you want to copy that VH, VSH text. You want to copy that. Where can I copy that? Okay. Now get that off the side. And then now in your root of your uh, memory stick, you want to create a folder that says SE plugins if you don't have it already. So, it should say something like that SE plugins. And now what you want to do is open your folder up that says SE Plugins. And then you want to copy this file, or no, paste it in here. Now I already have it in here, but I'm going to replace it. Okay, so after you get that done, you want to go back to your root of your memory stick. Let me get a little closer here. Then in the CXMB folder, you want to delete that v VSH uh, text. Move it to trash. Now you want to close that. And then what you want to do is uh, grab that CXMB folder and then just drag it into the root of your memory stick. Now I already have it in here, so I'm just going to replace it. So now if you don't already have these folders then just make them and not that hard to make the SE plugins just uh, just right click um, new folder and rename and rename it as SE plugins and then you just drag this folder into here now if you get that done you want to close it that and I'm gonna eject uh, my PSP from the computer now the next thing you want to do is go to your PSP get out USB mode. 
All right, so the next step is to uh, turn off your PSP. Now you want to go into recovery mode, and what, how you do, and how do you get into recovery mode? You just hold the R button, and then you turn it on. Whoops! You gotta hold the power button, turn it off, and now you just want to hold the R button and turn it on. Now as you get this little menu here, see if I can close in on this. No, I can't. Okay. So you want to go into uh, plugins, and then you should find um, a deal that says cxmb.prx vsh. Now that's disabled, so you, what you want to do is press X and you want to enable it. So now it's enabled. Then you go back. Oh crap. Hold on one second here. So you want to enable it, then go back. Then you want to exit hmm. uh, recovery mode. And it should reboot. And that's how you install the custom um, software theme for your PSP. Now, I don't have any themes in here, but I do have one that I can activate, and that's my uh, Windows 7 theme. Now you can, uh, all you have to do uh, to get these themes, hold on. And there you go, I have a Windows 7 custom theme. Now, how do you get custom themes on there? All you have to do is uh, download files from uh, dl.qj.net. I'm going to post a link uh, to their themes category for the PSP. And they have a lot of themes there, custom themes, normal themes. And all you want to do is uh, plug in your PSP into your computer. Um, yeah, into your computer. And then open up your... Uh, PSP and then go into themes and then just drag all the themes you want into that folder and then you're good to go and that's it for this video uh, thanks for watching uh, please comment rate and subscribe and remember to visit my website and please uh, let me know what you think about this video and give me some recommendations of other videos I should make uh, thanks for watching and this is Raise the Beast signing off thanks